Hello everyone, welcome to your channel. The video which you are watching on your screen is created locally in Comfy UI with the help of Pyramid Flow model. We already have seen how to install that model locally in this video which you can check out on my channel. It is just a 2 billion model which creates very high quality videos just from text prompts or image prompts. In this video, we are going to get this pyramid flow model installed locally with the help of Comfy UI. And you can see that this is primarily the Comfy UI workflow here. So if I just go here and just make these nodes big, you can see that we have loaded this pyramid flow model and I have just given it this text prompt where it is saying a campfire burning with flames and embers gradually increasing in size and intensity before dying down towards the end hyper quality ultra hd 8k and you can see it is hyper quality it is um, 8k it is hd look at the flames i mean if you are this is simply mind-blowing now these are all the nodes this is the whole workflow so i'm going to show you a very easy way as how you can get this installed with comfy ui if you don't know what Comfy UI is, I will request you to go to my channel. Just search this Comfy UI. I already have done this second video. I think is the one which you should start with. It says easiest tutorial on Comfy UI. And if you have never heard of Comfy UI before, never installed it, then I'm more than sure that after watching this video, you'll be able to get it installed very easily and you will be quite proficient in comfy ui so once you have installed comfy ui and after watching this video you will also become quite familiar with the basic concepts then come back to this video and keep following this is a pyramid model on hugging face and i will also drop the link to it in video description this is what we are going to use but let me walk you through step by step as how to get this sort of video running on your local system with comfy ui and we will be using this pyramid flow model okay now the first step you need to do is to of course install comfy ui and i will assume that you already have done so so let me clear this from here we will start from scratch also make sure that your comfy ui is totally updated and you have comfy ui manager installed as you can see on the right hand side if you don't know what comfy ui manager is again please search my channel and you should be able to find that Comfy UI Manager video too. It should be somewhere here. So if you scroll down, you will see that you will also find that video. Now, and it's just a custom node. All you need to do is to just go to GitHub's Comfy Manager site and git clone it to your custom node folder. So once you have that Comfy Manager installed, click on it and then you will see it says update all so if you are running an older version of comfy ui i would highly suggest just click on update all it is going to update everything your nodes your comfy ui installations your extensions everything so make sure that you do that now once you have done that you need to install three custom nodes so click on custom node manager first up just search with comfy ui video helper suite so you see this is the one second one so make sure that you have it installed in order to installing just click on this install button because i already have it installed so it is not showing me but you will see an install so install it and then it will ask you to restart your comfy manager just click on that button and restart it once you have this custom node installed secondly just type pyramid here and once you will type pyramid you will see two nodes select both of them and install both of them or just simply install one by one first install this one uh, pyramid flow comfy ui and then install this wrapper on top of it and really huge kudos to both of both of these community members for creating these custom nodes so these are the three nodes which you need to get installed and then of course you would need to restart your comfy ui restart it and then reload it so it is going to uh, reload it once that's done on the right hand side click on load so let's suppose this is where your comfy ui is installed in this go to custom nodes 
and we, as we already have installed all of these three custom nodes so you need to go to comfy ui pyramid flow wrapper double click click on example and you will see a lot of examples here so you can go with others too but i'm just going to go with this one text to video example zero one click on it and it has loaded everything here so let me make it smaller so these are all the nodes we need that's it so you see what is happening here it has loaded everything now but don't run it yet there is very one important concept which you need to do and that is to get the model of course before i tell you that let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on good prices i will drop the link to their website in video description plus i am also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount which is in the video description for range of gpus I am running NVIDIA i6000 with 48 GB of VRAM and my system is Ubuntu 22.04 but these instructions will work on Windows, Mac or whatever you are using because everything is happening within Comfy UI. Okay so now we also need a model of course and that model is this Pyramid Flow ST3. So go to its hugging face page and then from there click on files. Once you click on files and let me make it a bit smaller so that it will fit here. So see, these are all the files which we need and but we need in a specific format. So if I go to the GitHub page of Pyramid Flow Wrapper, this is a directory structure we need. First up, you need to go to where your Comfy UI is installed, right? Then from here, you would need to, um, sorry, in the Comfy UI, click on models in the models create a new directory or folder called as pyramid flow make sure the case and the spellings are exactly the same and then in that pyramid flow create another folder or directory called as pyramid flow st3 of course you can just click right click a new folder now in this folder create all of these direct directories and make sure the naming is same and where do you get these names if you go back to the hugging face page you see all of these directories are here with the same name until tokenizer 3 so starting from causal video way until tokenizer 3 all of these directories you need to create once you have created that for example we have created this first one so for you of course it will be empty so go back to hugging face page click on it and then we need to download all the files from all these directories and put it in uh, your folder there are two ways of it so one way is of course uh, you can just git clone the repo from hugging face through python and uh, with hugging face cli which is a better way if you don't want to do that simply click on config.json and then right click on raw save link as and then you see that this is a causal width way just save it here similarly go back and then click on it and then where it says download right click on it save link and then save in the same directory similarly make sure that for all of these directories you download all the files now of course this is a bit of a cumbersome way another way is to go to your terminal first install hugging face underscore hub once you have in installed it then just say hugging face add dash cli login and then you would need to go to hugging face website and grab your free token and then insert your token after the prompt and once that's done simply you need to uh, run this file run this command in order to download the whole directory you see i'm saying hugging face cli download and then na the name of the whole repo which is pyramid flow st3 and then i'm just saving it in the local checkpoints directory you can once it is downloaded you can rename it to pyramid flow st3 and then move it over there so this is the step uh, or last step you need to do in order to get ready once your model is downloaded and your flow is here all you need to do is to just change your prompt here whatever you like and then run it so right now it is saying campfire burning with flames and embers and then just giving you that which which we also saw so i'm going to change this prompt into something else 
So I'm saying here, beautiful sunny Sydney city is bustling. The camera moves through the bustling city street, following several people enjoying the beautiful sunny weather and shopping at nearby stalls. Because I'm not going to refine it much, no negative prompts here. And then uh, let me run it while I explain all of these notes. So I'm just going to click here on Q prompt, of course. Now it is it is going through it has loaded the model it is going through the prompt converting it into the sampler where it is setting seed and garden scale which is prompt adherence and then how many frames it wants and then all that stuff and then it is using the vd code which brings all the images frame by frame from the latent space to pixel space and then it is video combined it is going to uh, produce the video see sampler is running now sampler is the one which actually generates images so let's wait for it to finish last time when i ran that uh, coal fire video it took around six minutes and as i said i'm using this uh, a6000 gpu by the way let me also quickly show you how much vram i am consuming let me run this it's a rough estimate so you see it is consuming just close to seven gig of vram that's it so you can run even this on 8 GB of VRAM GPU card. Go for it. Okay, so let's wait for it to produce this video and then we will see what it does here. Or meanwhile, as it happens, let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are AgentQL. AgentQL is a query language which turns any web page sorry any web page into a data source with its python sdk and live debugging tool you can scrape and interact with web content agent ql works on any page public or private any site any url even behind authentication it is resilient um, page structure changes but agent ql still returns the same result it is reusable the same query works across multiple similar pages and it structures the output according to the shape of your query so please do check them out. I will also drop the link to their website in video's description. Let's go back to our sampler. It is still running. So let's wait for it to finish and come back. And by the way, if you want to see the progress, you can, I'll just close this one. You can go to the terminal and see what is happening. You see, it is going through all of these steps at the moment. And for debugging, if you're getting any errors or anything, just open the terminal it will give you a bit more information as what is happening okay so let's wait for it to finish so sampler is done and now it is being transferred from the latent space to the pixel space and if you want to know what latent space means in pixel space please search the channel and you should be able to find something for example just search with this latent here and you will find a very easy to understand video as what exactly is meant by latent space. Let's go back here. Let's check the terminal what is happening. So almost there. And this is going to now show us. So this is a video should come up anytime now. Let me make it a bit smaller so that we will. There you go. You see the video is here. How good is that? This is a Sydney city looks great amazing amazing stuff people are walking and then the video is looks great and it's right according to the prompt where it is sunny and everything yeah the <clears throat> faces are not but uh, limbs are bit you see they are a bit deformed but we know that in comfy ui we can fix those images we can upscale them we can set up our prompts and a lot of things can be done because it is just displaying it frame by frame but the real uh, thing is that you know it has really produced a 10 second video amazing amazing stuff and really looks like sydney good stuff so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching